We are making our way over to Portland, Oregon. We're driving, so we live about maybe three hours or so away from downtown Portland. And that's where we're heading now because that's where we'll be staying. So I'll kind of show you some of the drive along the way. Apologizing now for the view out of the windshield because we have a lot of bugs. <laughs> a lot of bug splatter on the windshield, but hopefully you'll still be able to see some of the scenery as we are making our way. by those lovely photos, it all went viral. Elizabeth Parker has lived in the area on and off for 25 years. We're stopping for breakfast, checking out a new spot. It's called Mama J. Guess you want hot cocoa? No, I don't. No hot cocoa? I'll take it. Want some tea? Want some tea? Yeah. I like the truck. Oh, you see. Good morning. Do we need coffee? Um, no, I think we're fine. I think he wants a hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? I'll just have water. Okay. And I'll do hot tea. Hot tea? Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little spoon out. Is it a fun? Homemade yeah. coconut. I love seeing that on the return address. Homemade strawberry. Strawberry. Homemade Marion berry. Yeah. And regular. Do you need more hot water, Matt? Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. you good? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a side of bacon right over yonder. Look at this. So these are called squirrel pancakes. It has honey cream cheese on top and slivers of almonds. I asked for my bacon to be crispy. Very hot. Okay, for now we're good. Yes. Okay, I'll get you more cold water in a minute. Do you want more cocoa? I'm good, thank you. Okay, get you more water. Enjoy your bacon. Great, thank you. The cream cheese is interesting. <laughs> I forgot the cream cheese has a bit of a sour taste to it. I was expecting it to be a bit more sweet. It's not bad, but it does cut you off guard. Decided to stop and do a little shopping at Cascade Station. It's quite a few places to shop here, but we are going to start at Marshall's. I've never tried this from Aunt Jackie's. I like the name of it, not on my watch, Instant Detangling Therapy. It says it's a weave-in. So I think I'm going to try it, especially considering it is on sale. Look at this, $9 for this amount. Yeah. I mean, even if it's not good, I still don't feel bad about paying for it. But if it is good, what a great deal for such a great amount. <laughs> I am in the market for some new shampoo and conditioner and I used to use Design Essentials. I would get it from the beauty supply store. So since it's here in Marshalls, 
and it's on sale. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Still doing a little shopping. We are now at Tarjay. So this place is under construction, but it also feels like maybe they're going out of business. I have not seen a Target with so many bare shelves. Look at this over here. Just bare. Like, are they going out of business? Because if they are going out of business, they definitely can reduce the prices of some of this stuff. Mark it down. I'm so glad that I don't Just have empty to. shelves. Like, seriously. I've never seen one that is so bare. Look. Those are kitchen items. How is that empty? These are like, I guess, items for your home. Empty. empty there's people walking here oh let me show you the electronic section have you ever seen a target where the electronic section is emptied out That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like empty right here too. They have books at least. And they have baby clothes. car seats <laughs> this store is like going out of business or something yeah there's like nothing here nothing that's crazy i mean if they're under construction they should probably shut the place down look even over here look at that empty empty almost all out of socks we need to go this lighting is no good either, but seriously, we need to. All right, we are in Costco now. You know their shelves won't be bare. They always have something. <laughs> He's so happy. It's Harry's $19.99 and you get 13 cartridges. You should get it. I forgot to show you all at the house, but you can see here. This is the one that we got. So it's pretty sturdy. And it has its own little table. You can have your cup on the side. You can also have your phone on the side. And then they have this version here too. <laughs> if that reclined, it would be really nice. It does recline. Does it? Yeah, this thing makes a bed. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I can see the lock. So it goes into multiple positions. Yeah, it's zero gravity. There it is. Look at that. At least three different positions. Oh yeah, it's sleeping this bad boy. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Can you see that? They've got tree houses for kids. They've got flotation devices, <laughs> old boats. What? Is that the shirt you were talking about? They got like kayaks. They got tents. Ours at home doesn't have as much stuff. This place is packed. We found a few things, but we've mostly just been yelling at each other in the store. Because <laughs> I said we're homeless, which is true, because we're in a whole other state, but we can't check into our hotel for another, like, three hours or so. So don't tell me we're homeless. <laughs> we're enjoying each other's company, right, honey? Right, honey? Honey, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I finished it. I missed it. Put some in there. And then she stretch it out. She put some little holes in it. Get some aeration. Oh. That's so neat. This is the 
details them. Use the left two lanes to keep left to merge onto I-5 South. So we are going to check out a place that has some really great reviews. It's called Camera Solutions. I'm gonna see if I can find some bits and bobbles. It literally says open on the door. Let's see if I can find some bits and bobbles for my camera. Alright, we left the Camera Solutions store, so I'll show you the things that we picked up. So I got this camera strap right here. That seems pretty cool because after you have connected it to your the sides of your camera, then when in, whenever you need to take it off, you can just hit this little clip here and like release it, so you can kind of see that in the picture. Six, seven, eight years old. And so these are the bits that come with it: the strap itself, and then those little connecting parts. So I got this. That's the brand. It's called Leash. <laughs> and then I got a backup battery. And then I also have this because the connector that I had before in order to get the um, pictures and video off of my memory card like it had a short in it or something so this has like you see it's a USB and a USB-C or a thunder port connection and then you just slide the card itself right into that little edge so I'm excited to use this so yeah these are my goodies from Camera Solutions and they were super helpful. I came in with the list, it was quick and easy. And now we are making our way to the hotel. Ooh. Hang on y'all. <laughs> Hang on. Seriously? Hello? Hello? Heading from basically the top of the mountain and going down into the city. Made 
excited to talk golf. Of course, because we are in the Northwest. It's like 8, 15 or something, but it might as well be like, I don't know, 5, 45, 6 o'clock. <laughs> we were thinking if we got a late time that we'd be able to do nighttime golf, but it's going to be a little bit before it actually gets dark, but that's okay. Because we're here and it's going to be fun. It's still pretty bright and like it's 8.45 right now, but you know, anyway. So get ready to play. Honey, come help me. Yes, sir. It's a great angle. You got this, man. Help me. I don't know got this, man. <laughs> Bummer now. Man, Lucas are top. I'm going to win. I'm 
mark my words. put my new little strap on and I absolutely love it. I can sling it cross body. Your girl is a tourist for real, for real. <laughs> I love it. Okay, we're about to head out. We're going to get some lunch and then do some walking around Portland. Definitely taking you all with me. Y'all right here, I got you close to the chest. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Sunday. Happy Sunday. <laughs> we are still in Portland and we are making our way down to the riverfront because we're staying at the Hyde House up the street from the riverfront. So we are walking down here <laughs> to stretch our legs, get a little exercise, and to also do a little sightseeing. There's some gardens along the way. There are some, I think there's a ship and there's like some monuments and stuff. So we're gonna walk down here, take a few pictures, get some fresh air, and yeah, enjoy our Sunday. And along the river, look at all these geese. Lord, please don't let them chase us. <laughs> you never know what could happen with geese. This path is like very bumpy because we came from up there what was really nice and smooth down to here. There's baby geese. Do you see them? People have been walking by. So far, so good. We'll keep on walking too. Look at the babies all huddled together sleeping. Look at the baby geese. That's so sweet. Whew. Made it through without being harmed. <laughs> the race is on. That's the winning team. Way back there in the distance where the bridge is, is the submarine. And they're making a turn. And they're making a turn. Very nice. This is the Hawthorne Bridge from below. We've driven across it a couple of times to get to the other side of downtown Portland. So the Rose Festival is going on right now here in Portland. And we're walking down along the riverfront where they have the carnival rides. So right here <laughs> beside the bridge, they have the Ferris wheel, which is kind of cool. They 
have the swings. How funny that they're going up right now just as we're walking by. Testing everything, making sure it works properly. And then you can also see, I'm short, but you can still see a little bit of what's going on. In there. So this over here is a part of the Oregon Convention Center. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I need to look them up though to see what the history is of them because they're pretty interesting. But we've been riding along and I've been trying to get <laughs> video of this from the car, but it's much easier to see it from the waterfront. All right, we made it down here to the Friendship Circle. That's what it's called. I don't know why, but it's basically like the end of the line for the river walk. I mean, you can still go out to the street, but we are circling around this and we're going to head on back. I was gonna say, can you read that? I think it's in, is it in Japanese or it's just melted? Yeah, it's, it's printed. Yeah, it's completely, it says commission in the end of the sentence. July, 1990. Oh, okay. It's kind of hard to read it. All right, fellas, how you feeling so far? I ain't gonna be tired. <laughs> tired? No, I mean, I feel fantastic. There you go. You feel fantastic. Go another 10 miles. Well, we're about to go another one, so that'll get us a little <laughs> over two. <laughs> I showed you guys we did not make it to it last night I just <laughs> laid in the bed and then went to sleep so we're getting ready to check out we're waiting for valet to bring the car around <sighs> looking forward to getting home looking forward to getting Jackson anyway thank you so much for watching I mainly just came in here to close this out I appreciate you all please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one